about the dyspnea is that is a neurological sensation that can be completely disconnected from a patient's actual oxygen level. So, what does it mean? A patient can be critically hypoxic, low on oxygen, and minutes from death yet feel perfectly comfortable, while another patient win 100, 100% oxygen saturation, no, round 100, can feel like they are actively suffocating. Because this dyspnea is not hypoxia, it's not equal. Dyspnea is this, you know, the subjective feelings, feeling of being short of breath. It is, it's a symptom. Hypoxia is an objective state of having low oxygen in the tissues. It's a sign. They do not always got to go together. Not always. What really triggers dyspnea? The sensation is primarily triggered by the brain sensing that the work of breathing is too high. This signal comes from mechanoreceptors, nerve in the chest, wall muscles, and diaphragm that scream, we are working too hard. Chemoreceptors, sensors that detect high levels of carbon dioxide, CO2. Not necessarily low oxygen. Not necessarily. Psychological factors. Oh, yeah. The brain fear and anxiety centers can directly trigger the sensation of suffocation. And what scenario we can have? So we can have a deadly hypoxia with no dyspnea. A cl classic example is a carbon monoxide CO poisoning. CO binds to hemoglobin, preventing oxygen from being carried. The patient's tissue are starving from oxygen, starving for oxygen and very severely, but their CO2 level is normal and they aren't working hard to breathe. The pulse oximeter may even read a falsely reassuring so-called 100% and the patient feels fine until they collapse. Next scenario, terrifying dyspnea with great, perfect oxygenation. A classic example is that yes, is a panic attack. So the patient's oxygen saturation is 100% and their CO2 is actually low from hyperventilating, yet their brain is creating an overwhelming sensation of suffocation, making them feel like, like they are now dying. So this disconnect is why a good clinician never trusts the patient's feeling of breathlessness and alone and always relies on an objective measures like respiratory rate, work of breathing, and oxygen saturation to determine how sick they truly are.